<sighs> the fifth video of the week, I think. <laughs> what a crazy week. I feel completely hyperactive. If you want to see another full week of video like this video every day, just subscribe to my channel. Very easy. And I will do another one. Mm, very nice. Matcha creme brulee. For this video, I want you to like it. Please, please, every person that is watching this video, like it. It's free. It makes me happy and it's a great support for me after doing this very long week. And I still have some day to come. Today we're talking about Ambroxan fragrance. This week we talked about a lot of natural ingredients and I'm glad to talk about Ambroxan. What an interesting one. This is a modern synthetic compound with usually a dry, ambery, musky smell. The ingredient, if you want a projection and longevity, but if you see, in, you tap in the composition of your fragrance and you see, oh, Ambroxan, surely you're gonna have a nice projection or at least a nice longevity. It's not happening all the time, guys. Huh? Don't get me example of what didn't work on your skin. Huh? It's, it's just in general. So this ingredient was discovered in 1950s to actually replace the ambergris, the very very expensive natural ingredient that comes from the pool whale. But despite being just a replacement, it's actually a very nice and unique ingredient. To describe it, sometimes it smells salty, sometimes it smells smooth, skin-like, but it could also smell creamy, ambery, musky, nearly labdanum, like labdanum, leathery accords. It's mainly used as a base note to hold and boost all the ingredients on top away. Projection, give me projection. So it's not super fancy, but trust me, it has so many facets that is beautiful. For me, this is the ingredient that brings dimension to a fragrance. It has a very transparent and crystalline vibe in the scent. I want to start by something really affordable. Most of the fragrance with Ambroxan, you know, like you can find very affordable one if you want to try. But uh, for me in a design range, my favorite is Mont Blanc Explorer. Generic smell of a masculine fragrance. Very generic, but it's super well done. It's a nice office fragrance, a nice dump rich, you know, collection. I even wear it myself when I go to the gym or just on the data. On this fragrance, the Ambroxan, you feel a little bit more that leathery note. The men that are wearing that tell me they have so many compliments with this fragrance because the projection is beast. So you've got a lot of bergamot on the top. So usually it's like compared to Aventus, by the way, but you don't have uh, that uh, bergamot uh, touch in, in Aventus. You can smell more the pineapple, but in this one, it's more bergamot. Pink pepper, Ambroxan, vetiver, leather. So you have this hay like, very earthy tone. Like, I do like a nicely done generic fragrance. Yes. I say it, I don't mind. I think we all need one. The bottle uh, to uh, the scent, I think it's beautifully made. And uh, you know, I used to work for the company that does this, which is uh, Inter Parfum. They're super well done, their fragrance. So, voila. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about different kind of Ambroxan and uh, we've seen the leathery vibe with Mont Blanc Explorer. I want to give you some creaminess Ambroxan. And a brand decided to make plus, plus, plus the creamy aspect of the Ambroxan and it's L'Orchestre Parfum Piano Santal. This is, yes, absolutely, you've seen that before on my channel. This is the fragrance that I recommend a lot uh, because it's on my top five best favorite fragrance, best, best favorite fragrance. That doesn't make sense, no, um, of all time. Uh, I love Piano Santal. It's a jazzy, smooth composition. It smells super creamy, super lactonic very very milky and projecting a lot have a very ambery accord so ambery if you like it's a bit vanilla like without being sweet uh, it's a bit like benzoin like for example like uh, you know the, this waxy uh, mystical vibe i love how versatile it is sometimes i like to wear it on daytime just like this and uh, sometimes i love to wear it on a date night you know uh, to feel a bit sexy because the milky note it does work the fragrance is very meticulously done it's a piece of art for me and uh, what i love to do is uh, to smell my fragrance while listening to the audio tape the vinyl because uh, l'orchestre parfum they uh, launched a vinyl with uh, uh, with music that goes with each fragrance. Genius. To say, uh, when I listen to the piano, I'm listening to this. Next one is Crystal Safran from Matière Première. Yes, that's the newest one of Matière Première. Matière Première is the brand that I absolutely love for its simplicity 
and quality. They take one ingredient and they make it, uh, they boost it. Put it at the start of the show. Crystal Saffron is on my way to home. I can't wait to wear it. What does smell Saffron, you may ask me? Uh, sweet, honey-like, hay-like, a bit earthy, sometimes rubbery, a little bit spicy, but oh, it always leaves on the skin something a little bit delicately sweet. When you smell Saffron, despite the fact that it's super expensive, uh, you smell also super expensive. Because there's a transparency with this fragrance, with the Ambroxan. Uh, crystalline it's a perfect um, name for this fragrance because this is really something that you can smell it's not too heavy in the sweetness yes yes it's full-on saffron uh, and it's really rare when we have like a full-on saffron like this the shape of a diamond for me like a lot of facets you can definitely see that the ambroxan have been used also uh, to um, make the saffron even more beautiful to Pulse it. Found the fragrance super long lasting. Aurélien Guichard, the perfumer, is doing a perfect job. The master perfumer, he, he knows how to do something simple, uh, but to to make the ingredient looks beautiful. Something pure. It takes something simple and makes it extremely pretty. Okay, and the next for me, one is Juliette as again not a perfume. I wanted to talk about this despite the fact that not a lot of people uh, like this fragrance. I think uh, it's also a misunderstanding the fragrance a little bit, but that's my honest opinion. I do not. I really fancy this fragrance to wear it alone <laughs> if I honest with you. Literally the composition of this is Ambroxan and you have also uh, Celatox but really it's Ambroxan and uh, this Ambroxan smells uh, like the skin. It smells a bit rubbery and it smells like uh, pure Ambroxan really like a bit ambery like it doesn't project, it doesn't smell not that much but the beauty of it is like when you use it as a layering technique uh, because of this beautiful Ambroxan that is there you put anything on top and it makes it blossom. So it's doing a fusion with your skin chemistry and make it like a, to something totally different for everyone. It had to be done. Yes, it's not going to please everyone, but for me, they, that's where the perfumery goes to a point of creativity. Uh, it's for science. So it's something I would really like to add to my collection. Synthetic molecule, a single unique, so it's normal uh, that um, on some skin it does a catastrophe. Au duel by Diptych. I wanted to talk about vanilla like Ambroxan. Star of the show is vanilla bourbon and really you can you can see that they played the Ambroxan in there to uh, reinforce the ambery, reinforce this uh, this uh, bourbon vanilla note. I'm talking about the eau de parfum because the eau de toilette doesn't have this Ambroxan note. There's a little bit of a spice, rock rose and uh, it does have a little bit of transparency. Make the vanilla a little bit more transparent, not a heavily sweet, sickening, heady vanilla. The signature DNA of Diptyque, which is like, you have the impression to enter to a library. It smells a little bit vintage. I absolutely love it. I couldn't leave this video without talking about the most famous uh, Ambroxan by Molecule O2 by Eccentric Molecule. Personally, I really don't like it because it's just like it's too at this point like it's too synthetic for me i, I just don't like it like I, I i have the impression to smell like a, a laboratory but but i appreciate the gesture i could have talked about your sauvage that's the most most famous it's powerful and that's why a lot of people like it as well it's a very generic smell but it's extremely powerful you spray that a few times everybody can smell you sometimes it's even sickening because they've put a lot of ambroxan in there Really great job from François de Machy. It's very clever. Like I would have done the same. Oh, projection, performance. <laughs> then you have Dylan Blue. Huh? Again, uh, I've been the same vibe. That's why it works. Huh? Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. I could have talked about Terrible Teddy. That is a beautiful fragrance. I really like this one actually from Pen Elegance. Uh, Office for Men huh? by the uh, J Jeremy Fragrance. Well, he loves Sauvage so much. Like if he would have not done an Ambroxan fragrance for his first fragrance, that would have been like a blasphème. It's a petit matin for Francis Cut Jean. Oh my God. Uh, tell me what is your favorite Ambroxan fragrance? I'm generally curious to hear what you have to say about this ingredient because it's quite special. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 30K will do another week of videos like this every day. I have to say I'm enjoying it. I'm really tired. I'm really tired. I'm going to finish like a carpet. But I am actually really enjoying it. Like uh, it's, it's a bit like... Um, Propulsing again my hyper hyperactivity. Why not? You know, I need to chill. I need to chill. Uh, where is my bubble tea? Um, mm, mm, that's come on. I had a shot of creme brulee. Here. Mm. Anyway, guys, I see you tomorrow. Ah
paradis bleu.